Okay guys, so while waiting for my chickens to be ready because I just accepted an order and I'm not going to cancel it the distance is short lah delivering to the the trillion which is like what one kilometers away but I know Wingstop is, is going to take a while lah they have to fry the chicken it's fresh lah the great thing is that it's, it's fresh lah they don't store any chicken okay while waiting for it I'm going to share with you guys this now the, I'm going to share with you guys the specification of the Junior, okay. So EcoDrive Junior uses a 48 volt controller, and the battery is 11.5 ah. Okay, as you can see, it's equipped with 14 inch wheels, similar to GMove MC, GMove LC. Uh, it's actually magnesium rings, by the way. It's not the the spokes rims, uh. So and I actually when I actually did some research, uh, magnesium is actually 33% lighter than aluminium so magnesium offers an excellent resistant weight ratio and appears to be the most powerful metal uh, this is the source according to google so not only that it's lighter but also more resistant and a more powerful metal than those aluminium spokes uh, from the previous eco drive now moving on to how to operate the Eco Drive Junior? Very similarly to the 36 volt, turning off and turning on. Okay, there's a there's a uh, display LCD display panel over here, and it has three pedal assist mode: M1, M2, and M3. It's able to show the battery bus. Right now, it's still full. It's able to show the speed as well. And now, removing the battery. Okay. Now, charging port is over here. Remove the difference is that removing the battery, you have to take the entire seat out. Okay, so it's a bit of a disappointment because uh, the previous Eco Drive, it has the it has the kind of like a lever underneath the seat, but which this doesn't. You have to remove the entire seat, and the features. Third, removing the battery is actually the same as the eco drive like you gotta plug plug it out and then you gotta push the key inwards and turn to the left side in order to remove the battery okay so now we are here on another location because it's damn awkward there's like two people in front of me just now super weird to continue the review okay uh okay that's that was how to remove the battery so you have to remove the seat first and now moving on to folding the handlebar okay okay so by default when you first purchase it is like this okay this is actually to prevent this lever from coming down it's actually a, a lock like a secure lock like. so you just need to slide this secure lock outwards and simply pull the lever downwards all right okay and then just fold it all the way downwards like this see so now it's folded and you can bring into i okay again i'm not sure whether we, whether we can bring into public transport i think without the bag without the rack we should be able to bring into public transport which we will try later on all right and now for the front lights turning on the front lights is the red button over here it's a red button over here this is the horn the horn is quite loud 48 volt all seem to be quite loud even orcas horn is also very loud okay what I, what I like is there's four LED bulbs compared to other some other e-bikes there's only like one LED bulb so during the night time it should be nice and bright there is also rear rear lights as well not extremely visible because the back and the right is blocking it uh, but there, there are rear lights for the junior there's also braking lights I'm unable to reach the brake and show you guys the braking light but there is braking light the rear light it's so there's two rows of LED lights rear light is the first row braking light is the second row okay 
Now, this is my setup. The MFC 62L back. Magnetic. Very, very uh, stylish looking, actually. I've, I've, tried, I've tried riding with a uh, 80L back, but I realize it's, it's, it's big, la. it's big, la. it's big. Especially for a 14 inch e bike. It's not that it's not doable, it's just that it looks very, it just looks very big. La. And then back to the front again, there's front suspension. Unfortunately, there's no rear suspension. I've been trying to figure out, figure out what is the actual use of front suspension. So I think and think and think and front suspension actually when you are going on uneven grounds, it actually helps to absorb the impact. So that's the great thing about front suspension. Uh, there is, I, 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 would, I would still prefer a rear suspension actually because the back of the e-bike is where most of the weight is at because we are sitting closer to the back, right? Mm, but because of the build of it and the controller is there, the battery is there, we are, they are unable to provide to, inst to equip a, a rear suspension. Lah. But having a suspension is still better than no suspension. Really, really. Okay. Yeah, that seemed to be pretty much it. I've covered uh, key ignition, how to turn on, turn off, the control panel. The control panel has three pedal assist modes. The speed, the battery bus, the odometer. Again, I have to emphasize that the odometer, once you switch it off and then you turn it on again, it resets. And front light, rear light, braking lights, uh, front and back dual disc brakes, magnesium, 14 inch tie, uh, wheels, and we have covered the folding also. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's now head to Tampanese Hub and collect our order. This short clip is from the last episode on the top right. Click to watch it or check out one of my most updated playlists that I've selected for you. Fellow riders, see you on the streets!